Hey guys, Tim here from TimKipTutorials.com uh, with part two of our Java programming tutorial series. Uh, in this part, we're going to be writing our first Java um, application, and we're going to show you how to compile compile your code and run your application in the command prompt. So, first thing we need to do is open up a simple text editor. I'm using Notepad++. Um, you could use Notepad. Any text editor will do. You don't need any fancy programs or anything at this point. First thing you're going to want to do is we're going to create a class. So just type the word class, and I'm going to name mine uh, Tim Kip Tutorials. Open and close your curly braces, and that will end your class. So I'm just going to put a comment here with two backs or two forward slashes, and then end class. We're going to go ahead and save this file. And I'm going to go to the C drive, which is my root directory. I'm going to create a new folder called uh, Java Docs. And inside there, we're going to make sure that um, you set your file type to all, or you can uh, just uh, enter your class name here, Tim Kip Tutorials, and then make sure you add the extension .java. It's very important that you add the .java, or else the compiler will not be able to compile your script. Go ahead and save that. As you notice, the forward slashes in the end class are in green. That means it's a comment. Um, don't worry if you don't understand this uh, script just yet. Uh, the main purpose of this uh, tutorial is to compile and run your script. So um, whenever the Java compiler is looking to run an application, it's looking for a main method. So anything inside of a class is a method. So we're going to type the word public, uh, static, void and then the method name will be called main and there's going to be two or er, a parameter that goes into the main method so inside of your parentheses here you want to type string and a square bracket open and close and then args okay and that's all for your method declaration inside there we're just going to do a simple output onto the screen we're going to say system dot out dot print and we're going to add an ln after that which means line so we're going to print a line and it ex uses a parentheses to accept the parameters and inside double quotes for a string value we're going to say uh, your first java application and then i'm just going to add another system dot out dot print line and i'm just going to say created by Tim Kip at timkiptutorials.com. Go ahead and save your file. Next thing you need to do is open on your start menu, go to your command prompt, and we're going to change your directory to our root directory since my file is in C, so CD and then a backslash. We'll take you to your C drive. And you're going to want to change your directory to your Java Docs um, directory or wherever you've saved your file. And if you use the DIR in your Java Docs, you can see that right here we have a Timkip tutorial dot Java. I'm going to go here and make a quick uh, name change here because I re 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 noticed that I didn't add an S after Timkip tutorials. So I'm going to delete this one and save it as Timkip Tutorials dot Java. Okay, so I have my Timkip Tutorials class with the correct file name now. So back over in our command prompt, I, if we do our dir again, we'll see that we have Timkip Tutorials and the first one. So I'm going to go over to our Java docs and remove the one without the s at the end and now we only have one. So the only thing we need to do is uh, the only thing we need to do to compile our um, class file, which Java can run, is we're going to say Java with a C at the end, so JVAC, and then we're going to type Tim Kip Tutorials dot Java or whatever your file name is. Hit enter. It's going to think for a little bit, and it comes back with an empty command line. And if you do your directory again you'll see that we have a timkiptutorials.class and timkiptutorial.java file. So now we can run our class file just by typing java and then your class name which is timkip 
tutorials in this case. Hit enter and it comes up your first Java application created by TimKip at TimKipTutorials.com. So we've created our first application, we've compiled it, and we've run it in the command prompt. So that's a start and a very basic uh, tutorial on creating Java applications. I'll see you in the next part.